Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be talking about... What? What is this? Is this, is this cotton? Where's it coming from? Space? Young Mark Watney, study astrobotany. I make hanging gardens and nobody can stop me. Uh, let's grow plants in space. So today I've asked my mentors, Dr. Simon Gilroy, welcome back, mm, and uh, Dr. Richard Barker, hello, to discuss the opportunity that they recently received to grow cotton in space. So the project is led by um, a government entity called CASIS the Center for the Advancement of Science in Space. Okay. They're all acronyms. And uh, the, then the sponsor, who's actually bankrolling and making, it, m making that part of it happen, is Target. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. And so one of the reasons to want to do the spaceflight stuff is to try and learn enough about cotton to work out maybe how we could grow it a little bit better. Cotton is a hugely thirsty crop. It uses tons of water. And because it's such a, a, a important business, it's very intensive on agrochemicals in, in a lot of settings. And those two things together make cotton have a big impact on the environment. Um, Richard, I found this on your desk. <laughs> um, do you mind explaining to me what, uh, what is this thing, Richard? Sure. What is this? Um, so this is actually a, a piece of NASA certified spaceflight hardware. We're now going to use this to grow some of these cotton seeds uh, on orbit. We'll have some, some of these, the same hardware we'll have it growing on Earth at the Kennedy Space Center and we'll be able to compare the plants that grow in this on Earth to those that grow in one of these on the space station. Um, it's a simple device. Uh, the best thing about it is it keeps the microbes outside, so inside is completely sterile. Um, and it has a custom adapter on the bottom that allows the astronauts to inject water, which will cause these, these seeds to, to germinate. Gotcha. Um, the shoots will then grow up towards the light above them, and the roots, well, we just don't know. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> Let's grow plants in space. I love the documentary, The Martian. Have you seen it? The documentary? It, it's, <laughs> it's brilliant. Um, in it, uh, a character called Mark Watney uh, ends up growing some potatoes on Mars using his poo and Martian soil, uh, Martian megalith. And for me, this is one of the moments when the science kind of breaks down in the movie. On the whole, it's very good, but this one moment, he does not wash the soil. He just uses the Martian regolith straight off the ground. Whereas we know that Mars has dried out on a global scale and has got a thin layer of crust over the, a thin crust of salt over the surface. And so that soil would not allow him to grow those potatoes. It would kill the potatoes. So interestingly, the technology that we're going to be using that's inside these, these cotton seeds actually allows these plants to grow well uh, in salty soil. It actually allows them to produce a high yield, a sustainable yield, in salty environments and, and drought environments and dry environments. So we are intrigued and excited to learn how this technology will uh, allow or help adapt plants to the growth on the International Space Station and maybe even eventually on Mars. So Simon, Richard, Thank you very much for coming in to talk about the experiment. Uh, I hope you guys keep us updated on the progress. Absolutely, yeah. Let's, Let's go, go cotton in space. space. <laughs> <laughs> I need to take a moment just to stop and thank my teachers, my professors, you like, my coaches, comment, my and subscribe. Models, and if you want to support your Richard, local astrobotanists, you can pick up one of these cool astrobotany shirts at astrobotany.com.